Hey, so I'd like to speak again about the different cultures and groups that I'm really happy to be able to play in. And this is coming back to the El Gusto, which is a traditional shabby orchestra. Shabby is the popular music in Algeria, which is uh, played at weddings and, and popular events like this. Uh, for those who know Algerian music a little bit, Gnawa is the tribal version, which can go between Morocco and Algeria. And uh, Shabi is more popular for, for celebrations and things. And in this orchestra, they play lots of great melodies and things. And I wanted to write a homage to them. And uh, it sounds a bit cliche, but when I was taking the taxi back from uh, uh, the city of Algiers to the airport, I heard this melody on the radio. And uh, I thought, why well, I should really make a song with this. And it, it, was, it was a good enough melody that stuck in my head, just three notes. And uh, I wrote this song uh, as a homage to them. And uh, I thought maybe it could be a nice example uh, to speak with regarding to articulation and ways of playing the melodies and using, uh, as I've talked about a little bit before, hammer-ons and pull-offs to make the melodies uh, sound or emulate these amazing melodies that I hear on these uh, amazing instruments from uh, different cultures and abroad. So... Um, it's called Casper Radio. I'll play it and then maybe I can show a couple of things afterwards. interesting is that using hammer-ons and pull-offs can really change the way of course a melody sounds a lot like bow articulations and things 
it completely changes it. If I was to pluck the melody, <clears throat> to pluck every note, pizzicato, it sounds quite different than So it's a, something that I find interesting to play with and when I try to figure out how I can absorb hearing a melody from an instrument or something that I, that's quite exotic, how can I do something to bring that into the bass a little bit and to find a way to emulate or incorporate that into the bass playing.